and welcome. My name is Brian Kaplan. I'm editor of The Banker and we're doing our view from Cybos for Cybos 2013 in Dubai. I'm here with Aaron Jane, who's the chairman and CEO of Polaris. Welcome, Aaron. Thank you. And uh, obviously, uh, Cybos is very much about transaction banking. What do you feel are the big challenges facing transaction bankers uh, today? I think it's a, all the three-dimensional challenges, which you call it in a transactional banking. One is around global uh, footprint, which is getting extended. The second is the product offering, which goes along, along with it. And the third piece is around the technologies, which are multi-generation technologies are there. So they are facing all the three-dimensional challenges where complexity becomes so uh, intense that uh, it needs to be resolved from a perspective of uh, simplification of technology, simplification of the product, and simplification of the geographical ro rollout when they launch new products. Okay, and um, we're in the Middle East, um, in, in the emerging markets, where we see a lot of, in global terms, second and third tier banks, yeah. with all due respect to them, that need to compete against international players now, and they find that leap very difficult. Um, how is it possible for a, a second or third tier bank to, to make that leap so it offers a sort of joined up transaction service for its customers? Yeah, I think that we spotted that need uh, in this marketplace that they need an integrated uh, global transaction banking. So they need all the products around cash management, all the products related to receivable, collections, trade finance, liquidity, and uh, a smart corporate business exchange. We call it portal as a corporate business exchange. So they need all of them into one bucket. Otherwise, in a global marketplace on the technology vendors, they are separate vendor for payment, and separate vendor for collection, and separate vendor for liquidity, and separate vendor for trades. Now that brings a huge amount of uh, cost structure, which is there for Middle East and the tier two and tier three banks. So what we bring on the table is a first time in the world integrated global transaction banking, which we are launching in Cybos this time. So that's a key value proposition for tier two and tier three. Besides what we are contributing in tier one, which is around each solution, payment services hub or funds control hub or liquidity management of global level. So that is for tier one. So we are distinctly differentiating our offering for tier one bank and tier two and tier three banks. Okay, and um, one of the, the topics that's been discussed at the conference is very much the sort of prevalence of so-called big data and how there's much more data around that banks, if they can gather it effectively, they can use it to help their customers. Um, is that something that you can help the banks with? Uh, I would say banks are not in stage to use big data. Sorry to say that. <laughs> I think they have, their internal data is so complex right now that to implement any new technology, what we call canvas technology and hub technology, first they have to integrate a common GTB data warehouse. Once that comes into picture, then I think uh, it will take another two, three years for them, global transaction bankers, to really use big data. Yes, we have started working on it. We are helping few banks, but it's not, uh, it's more for dashboard, but it's not really what we believe a big data can be used for uh, creating intelligence and proactive risk management. So that is still a long way to go. Okay, so we've got some way to go on that. Yeah. Now, regulation is here and now, it can't mm. be ignored. Yeah. Uh, there's been a lot of discussion at the conference about some of the regulations like FATCA, mm. uh, KYC and so forth, and some announcements about banks setting up third party services to, to pull their knowledge and, and, and supply that all together. Do you think that's a trend that's taking off in, in the banking sector? Yeah, I think, uh, yes, I think the complexity of this regulation uh, is becoming more and more complex. Each country has its own set of regulation over and above the standard regulation like FATCA, which are more standard globally. Now to ensure that everything is complied uh, and everybody invests into that, it's a huge amount of cost which is added to that. And, and can the right technology help solve banks' regulation difficulties? Definitely. I think the regulation, uh, what we say that we are using transaction technologies. Today it's a conversational technology. So we have a transaction like a conversation. Now in hub technology when we design, we design this technology from a perspective of uh, uh, having uh, threats, connected threats, so that exception and errors and a regulation all can be conversation. So you can have conversation with the regulation, conversation with the internal operation department, conversation with the customer. So all three dimensional conversation can come together. And that's where we call it hub technology, which is the technology on which we are building funds control hub, or a payment services hub, or a credit services hub, 
or a customer onboarding hub. So these are the products we are offering on a common conversational technology called Hub Technology. Okay, thank you, thank you very much, Aaron Jane. We've been talking about conversation technologies. I've been having a conversation with Aaron Jane. He's the chairman and CEO of Polaris, and this is our view from Cybos.